guys and welcome to today's video. So a few weeks ago I tweeted on Twitter saying that I just received a huge parcel. I thought it would be a bit bigger than this and it's from Lush. I made a cheeky little online purchase. It was like 10 o'clock at night and I'd just been paid and I thought I'd treat myself and I just had like a really nice evening of pampering and I thought I need to try some new stuff from Lush so I ordered a few things, um, hair related, body related, stuff like that and we're going to go through them. So this is the box. It looks quite big in camera. But um, I thought it would be a bit bigger than this. But if I remember rightly, I ordered some stuff around Christmas time. And it kind of just comes all chucked in the box um, with like polystyrene. Um, whereas before, a few years ago, when I ordered stuff from Lush, it comes like individually wrapped. So we'll see. Oh, I've just tipped it the wrong way around. There's a sign on it saying up and there's me chucking it around everywhere. I'm really, really hyper today. I've filmed like 10 videos today already and I'm like absolutely buzzing. So I'm just going to cut into the box. Ooh. quite a lot of these products I ordered I've never tried before so I'm super super excited but one thing about ordering online with Lush is how do I know I'm going to like the smell so we will see and I probably shouldn't have worn black because it's going to go everywhere okay so it's all kind of packed in here as I expected it also comes with these pieces of paper and it says all the bath bombs I ordered it's double sided and it's got stuff on the back stuff on there oh that's handy and this is what I'm left with so I'm just going to don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, it seems like there's nothing in here. Oh god, there's everywhere. I think they've just given me an empty box. Very well packed, Lush. Thank you. I will actually get to the products in a minute. It literally looks like I've shoveled loads out and I'm still going down, so bear with. I'm going to stop recording and I'll come back when I've got to the products. No joke, that took me like a good 15 minutes to get halfway down. There's still loads in there. I'm just going to pull things out randomly. I don't know where I'm going to put the things once I've taken them out. I didn't really think about this. Um, I don't really have any space here because I have one of them things called a wardrobe that I don't use. And there's clothes everywhere. Right, so the first thing I bought was the Bubblegum Lip Scrub. So the reason I bought this is I've recently been wearing a lot of like liquid lipsticks and a lot of like lip liners and my lips have been really really dry recently just because maybe like the change in weather. So I bought the bubblegum lip scrub so you all know what a lip scrub does um, and you get quite a good amount in there and apparently you can eat this because um, it's literally just like caster sugar and a flavouring or something. It's not got much in it um, and that's what it looks like. It looks so cool and you get quite a good amount and it's in a, a glass jar which I love. So I'm going to try and uh, remind myself to use this. I'm going to put all the um, prices around the screen as I go through each product. So um, the Bubblegum Lip Scrub retails for... Ding! And it will be up on the screen for you. I think it was like £3 or something, but I'll have the exact price on the screen for you. So that is that one. The next product, which I'm also just going to pull out because it's not messy, is a hair treatment. And this is Marilyn. This is for like blonde hair. I don't know if you guys can tell. I got my hair done. It would have been, I think, two months now. It's gone really brassy. Um, I had it done the end of June. So it's been like two months now. It says whether you're bleach, blonde or natural, you will want to keep brassy orange tones from building up in your hair. And I'm just going to open this. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't really... It doesn't really smell of anything. It, they, it doesn't really smell of anything. It's really, really runny and it's yellow. Um, so I'm going to give that a try to kind of help get rid of the brassy tones. I'm going to get my hair redone again. You're meant to kind of leave it like six to eight weeks. And I've left it way over that. So I'm due to get it done again. But um, it says let your blonde have more fun and a pre-wash treatment for blondes who want lighter brighter hair so I'm going to give that a go and I'll let you know how that is. I've recently been loving bath oils so I ordered a few. The first one I ordered is this one, it's called You've Been Mango. Now I can't hold these for long because they literally like melt in seconds. Oh, that's not one of my favourite scents but it's it's quite nice. Um, um, another one which I can see is called um, Razzle Dazzle and it's this pink sparkly ball. You basically just pop them in your bath and they melt and um, this is like melting everywhere and they melt and it makes your bath water like really really nice and creamy and oily and you come out feeling like you've just been moisturised 10 million times so um, I picked up a few of those and those are two of the ones I picked up 
we've got another one of these which I already had in my um, Lush collection. This is M M Melting Marshmallow Moments and no I didn't stutter, that is actually what it's called. I love the smell of that, it's like a classic Lush scent and my fingers are ruined. Um, my boyfriend got me one for Christmas last year and I absolutely loved it so I've bought a few this um, so I've bought a few um, this year and I thought I'd just buy another one while I was shopping. Um, I'm going to move on to bath bombs now, this is in no particular order. We have Ickle Baby Bot, which is a little robot bath bomb. Um, I think this is like £1.95, I'll have the price on the screen. I bought this for my boyfriend just because he likes this sort of thing. Um, and it's just cheap and cheerful. And I picked him up that one so he didn't feel left out. Wow, this one's massive. This is the Experimenter. I think this one's fairly new, it's like a year old I think. Oh, I don't like the smell of... I don't know what that smell is. It's a different smell, it's not one that I'd normally go for, but I suppose that's the beauty of ordering online, you don't know what it's going to smell like. I love the colours, I think that's going to make your bath such a cool colour. It's kind of glittery as well, if you guys can see that. I don't know what the smell is, what's it got in it? Oh, it's got popping candy in it, oh my god that's so cool. I'm not too keen on this smell, but the colour wins me over so. Win-win. Mm, see that smells, that, that's the funny smell as well. This I believe is the Avo Bath I think, so it's got Lush printed on the front there. And this says feed the skin and the soul, so I guess this is kind of like a moisturising um, Avo, oh that's strong, oh, that's really strong, it goes right up your nose, oh it's on my nose, Ugh. exciting. I love that they're so big as well. Next we have, I picked up two of these because I absolutely love these. These are the Floating Island Bath Oils and they smell delicious. They're like vanilla scented, hence why they've got the uh, like vanilla pod sticking out. They melt really nicely in the bath, as you know I love um, bath oils. Oh they just smell so delicious, I absolutely love them so I ordered two of those ones. Next I have a massage bar, this is literally going everywhere. This is called Strawberry Feels Forever. It says creamy and dreamy skim. Oh, that's nice. It's like the Body Shop strawberry smell. It's quite big as well. It looks like that. That smells so nice. This one, I think, is Dragon's Egg. So it says feel ready to soar. This one as well has kind of got like a lemony scent. I'm not very good with scents or anything like that. I love how this has kind of got like bursts of colour. It's got blue, it's got yellow, it's got red coming out of it there. I can't describe this. It's quite like a... It's a very strong smell, whatever it is. It's kind of lemony. Yeah, it's got lemon oil, popping candy, citric acid. Yes, it's very, very zingy, this one. Very nice, though. I feel something slippery. Oh, this is cute. This is another massage bar. It's in the shape of a heart. Oh, my God, that smells so creamy. It's like cocoa butter. I think it's... I don't know how to pronounce it. It's that one there, soft coir, coir, I don't know how to pronounce that but it's so lovely, it's so sweet, so it's just a heart, it looks like it's got chocolate in it, I wonder what that is, probably is, oh that smells so nice, another bath oil which I love this one but I don't particularly like the smell of, I knew I wouldn't because it's got lavender in it, it's called the Dreamtime Luxury Bath Oil and it's time to hit snooze it says, so it's like a sparkly um, bath oil and it's got a Z on it. It does smell of lavender, so if you like that smell then it's definitely one for you. I know I didn't like I knew I didn't like lavender and I kind of knew it would be lavender scented. But um especially when you have like them long stressful days at work, I think this will be perfect and I'll probably fall asleep in the bath. Oh my god, this is what this is one of my favourite smells from Lush. I've had this before. This is the creamy candy bubble bar. I only picked up um one bubble bar because I have so many like bath um bubble baths that you pour in I didn't want to buy too many because these last me for ages I've got another a comforter in my um, basket somewhere this is bright pink with a flower in the middle um, it smells delicious it smells really really sweet and girly and fruity it's got out it's got almond oil in it as well so it's really softening on the skin it smells so nice I could eat this um, and it makes really really nice lovely pink bubbles this is butterball this is also one of my favorites it says lush on the front but I'm not sure what way it's it goes round. This is like a bath oil but in a bath bomb formulation. It's really really creamy, it kind of makes the water all milky. 
it's quite a classic blush scent as well it's not too in your face I don't remember it having speckles on it though I don't know if that's just because it's been in with other products but it's kind of speckly um, you also have butter bear around Christmas time which is the same kind of thing but um, smells I love that one and last but not least oh wow this one's big oh my god this is absolutely massive this is the uh, twilight bath bomb I love the stars that's so pretty it's got a moon and stars on it this one says let the sun set on worries um, it's got lavender oil and stuff like that in it oh wow that's really lavendery this one a lot of people love this bath bomb it's a nice pink it's absolutely massive I can't believe how big these are I usually kind of go for the small ones it's very very lavender as well but I like I like that I like a bit of lavender not too much Oh, look how pretty it is. And like I said, I've never tried this one before, so I'm excited to see what that one does. So, just to go over everything, we had the bath bombs, which are here. And then we had the bubble bar. We had one, two, three, four, five luxury bath oils. And we had the lip scrub and the um, hair treatment, which I'm excited to try. And then we also had the two massage bars. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I'm set for bath time for like the rest of my life. Oh my goodness. This is all the products. So this is what will fit in my basket. It's a heart shape as well if you guys can see that. Probably not. I couldn't fit them all in. I think I've got four bath bombs that won't fit in. I just have to pop them somewhere else for the time being. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one so I do apologise. I hope you didn't get bored. I'll leave all the um, products mentioned in the description um, as with my top and my makeup which I'm wearing. Um, at the end of every video I film now I'm going to try and remember to ask you guys a question which I want you to answer in the comments. So if you can't already guess, the question for today's video is what is your favourite Lush product and why? It can be um, a face mask, it can be a bath bomb, it can be a, a bath oil, anything like that. Let me know in the comments. Um, I like all things sweet and fruity if you guys have anything to recommend uh, for me. I love the scent of the comforter. I don't really like glitter too much um, but I'll, I don't mind a bit. So guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope it was informative and if you haven't been into Lush for a while I hope this encourages you to go and I'm really excited for the Christmas and Halloween um, products to come into stock if you guys want me to do another haul closer to the time I will do. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up. I think today I'm going to give you the target of 60 thumbs up, I know that's a lot, usually you get like 30 or 40 um, but your target today is 60 thumbs up. Let's smash the thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Uh, stuck on my toe. <laughs>